Now it's the holiday season and music is a big part of the celebrations. Music does have power to make us happy, sad or even ignite social change, but it also has healing powers and researchers want to know how that works. VOA's Kevin Enoch's report. The soothing sounds of a violin and the graceful movements of dancers can help take people's minds off painful hospital procedures like chemotherapy. It reduces anxiety and it can also decrease, help decrease the amount of medication that a patient needs. Researchers at the National Institutes of Health are studying how exactly music affects the body. If we can study the arts in the same way that um, science studies medications and other therapeutics, I think we will be doing so much good for cura personalis or care of the whole person. Opera singer Renee Fleming is part of the study, working with researcher David Jangraw. If you really want to um, engage certain parts of the brain, you have to get the person to actually sing along or uh, play an instrument or become part of the music making process. Fleming underwent brain scans while speaking, singing, or imagining a piece of music. What researchers discovered is that processing music is an incredibly complex process, and imagining music may be even more complicated. And that music may be a pathway to engage parts of the brain and speed up the healing process. What neuroscience can do is help us understand which parts of the brain um, are active when we're making music. Um, and if we find out that that part of the brain is also affected by a disease or a disorder or an injury, now we know uh, that music can be a part of the solution to helping that part of the brain. But beyond healing, learning or playing music keeps the brain sharp, improves kids' language skills, and helps improve grades. Kevin Enix, VOA News. And that's our health report for today. To stay in touch, find me on Twitter at Lenore Moudou.